Hi, good morning everyone, good morning. I'm just gonna close the windows over here. So welcome to Friday today. It is Friday, June, June 5th today. Is that right? Is it June 5th? No, it's June 4th today. It's June 4th. Time flies. I'm gonna show you something new on the second floor. I know we have this beautiful wall, which talks about our clothing store. And we're going to add on the right side, we're going to add all about the supermarket today. So get ready for the next video. You're going to see not just the clothing store, you're going to see the supermarket. What is that? That's right. We have a new, new poster up here, a new standing sign. Look at that, you guys, isn't that neat? Look at this, this is really neat. It actually gives, uh, it makes it on the sunny days, it makes it easier for us to hold our nap times, but also looks really neat too. Look at that. All right. So welcome to June 4th. Let's go. This is worksheets for students. And yes, there is, there are a lot of Cambridge words inside of today's worksheets. Every day you're going to start to see them now. It's really exciting. The tests come up on August 21st and August 28th. So get ready, you guys. Get ready. I'm gonna show you how we make our worksheets actually eventually, but here's a quick little snapshot for you. So this is the, this is the, this is the word list that we're going from here, this, and see every day we're going to start to circle words that are included in the worksheets. So even better than just studying at home, in the classroom we're gonna be interacting with all of the things that you need to know to have a great time at the next Cambridge test. Okay, let's go you guys. Let's just have a good time, good experience, and let's get ready. Okay, so here we go. This is, it's a bit noisy in the background. Oh, sorry about that. Oh no, my battery dying there. Okay, so here we go. Number one, I'm gonna flip it. No, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna hold it up here. Here we go. Number one, here we go. It just says, shop, 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 everybody. Today, we're going to be shopping. That's right, in the clothing store and in the supermarket. All right, shop, 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 you guys, number one. Number two, the dry fingers all the time, right? Here's number two. Number two says, shop at the what? What is this over here? Shop at the clothing store where you can buy clothes. Oh, there's a Cambridge word. All right, and here there's number three. Just one more time, it just says clothing store, clothing store. And there you have a picture of your really cool hat and shoes. Number three. Number four. Next one here, we're going to shop at the supermarket. So here you have to circle all of the supermarket things. And no, they're not the shoes. That's right. Circle your apples. Shop at the S-U-S-U-S-U -S 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 supermarket. That's right. You got it. You got it, and here we go, number five, number five today. Number five, you get to start, from number five, you get to start to see the Cambridge mark. It says, in the clothing store, I can see what? I can see hats and shoes, that's right. You remember how to spell shoes? You remember, you guys, we'll always help you if you need it. S-H-O-E-S. And this one here, right? In the supermarket, I can see carrots and apples. Carrots and apples. All right, and here, number seven, something new today. It's a listening drill. So here, there's a picture of an ear over there. Here, listen to Greg, then draw what you hear. Okay, so first you have to listen, then draw, then complete the sentence. So here you have to draw in that little oval there. What do you have to draw? Listen to Greg, are you ready? In the clothing store, I can see a baby. Okay, so you have to complete your sentence. Which one says a baby? And then, but first of course you want to draw your picture. Okay, and when you're done, repeat to Greg please, okay? Read the sentence, excuse me, read the sentence one more time. That's number seven. You thought that was fun. Wait till you see number eight. 
Look at this one. Oh no, I, wait a minute, I left one window open. <laughs> this is number eight, look at this. It says, listen to Greg, then draw what you hear. Okay? At the supermarket, the boy is thinking to buy bread and a banana with his dog, Dan. Okay, so here you have to draw what is the boy thinking? Who is he going to, who is he going to buy it with? And then complete your sentence. I'm going to repeat it two times. So you'll have two times to be able to understand the sentence, okay? It's really amazing, you guys. We're really giving like full focus to the Cambridge test coming up. And also our curriculum, of course. So just so exciting. Can you feel it? Okay, this is number nine. Number nine here, getting harder obviously, but number nine, it's you have to de-scramble the sentence. Clothing store, buy, I can, beautiful address, my for mother. The sentence is, in the clothing store, I can buy a beautiful dress for my mother. And then draw your picture. Okay, that's number nine. And number 10, number 10, just another de-scramble, okay, number 10 try and figure out how to rewrite that sentence in a way that makes sense, okay? That's it, and number 11 is the only one, but it's the same as yesterday, because we didn't get to it. All right, there you go, you guys. So that's uh, Worksheets for Students for uh, Friday, January 4th, and how exciting. Just let's get ready, everyone, okay? Let's try our best, always fun at the school, but now we're, we really have even more of a focus as we start to get ready for Cambridge. And summer camp. You know, when we're going to the beach this summer, we're going to be doing some really special things. Can someone say portraits on the beach? Yes, you get to draw your picture while you're on the beach with your own picture frame and crayons and pencils. A true artist. So many nice ideas coming, you guys. Okay, so I'll see you soon. Bye everybody and good luck. Good luck. Use this video as you're watching the worksheets. Makes it easier. Bye.